What's up, YouTube? Matt here, Knife Crazy. Got a uh, go figure, a hinderer for you today. <laughs> uh, anybody out there that knows me knows I love hinders. Um, my XM18s and stuff like that. So, um, this is a first on my channel. Um, this is actually the second time I have ever held a half track. Um, the first one I held was Blade Show 2017, um, and I actually held a custom that was the only one they had available at the time, and uh, before they got it out to the folks to uh, do their drawings and all that, I was able to hold one and flip it and play with it a little bit. But other than that, I, I haven't held a production or anything like that, but um, thanks to uh, Witty over at USAMadeBlade.com, um, he has made this happen. This is one of his personal knives. Um, that he owns himself that he sent over to me and uh, he sent me a few more uh, that I'll be doing videos on um, uh, Compliments the USA made blade. I'll be able to do some knives that I probably wouldn't buy or I wouldn't even have thought about buying because I might not have thought they were my thing or my taste or my size or anything like that, but you know, he's gonna uh, work with me and help me out and he's gonna send me some stuff and uh, I'm gonna play with them and and use them and, and tell what I think about them. So that's what I'm doing here. I've been carrying this one for a few days now. And uh, if you have a hinderer, um, this one carries just like an XM18. Same clip, same way it feels in your pocket, same chunky feel of an XM18. It's just a little shorter. So um, if you like knives, if you like hinder knives, uh, I mean, you're gonna love this one. I mean, it's just the way it is. It's pretty much the same thing, except it's smaller. Um, I'll give you a size comparison here with the XM18. That's a pretty big difference, you know. But when it comes to the thickness and the and the tank like and the, you know the action and you know everything else is. The, the way it feels in your pocket, the pocket clip, the in and out, it's all the same. It's just a smaller knife. So if you got uh, any knives that's, uh, that's too big for your condition or your city that you're in or whatever, I mean, this is a 2.75 inch blade. Um, like I know the city that I live in, they don't like you to carry, their little city law is three inches or less. Um, but the state law is there is no law for that sort of thing. So <clears throat> state of South Carolina, like the only law that's in place is you're not allowed to carry a, I think it's a dirk, uh, which is some sort of like a pirate type knife. Um, so our laws here are very, very lenient, um, very conservative when it comes to knife laws. Uh, so no big deal. But cities can do their own little things and you know, no, they're not out there going, hey, let me check your pocket for your knife. But if you were doing something else wrong and you had a five inch blade in your pocket, yeah, you're probably gonna get charged for that too. Uh, that's just the way it is. But anyway, the, back to the half track here. This is uh, one of them knives that, you know, y'all know me, I'm, I'm a three and a half inch blade kind of guy. Uh, not really ever below a three and a quarter. Um, and I don't like anything too much over about a three and three quarter. Definitely not in that four inch range. That's just a little too big for me. But, uh, this little guy here is, uh, you can see I got large, extra large hands, okay? Three fits perfect, and then your fourth one sits right on that little ramp right there. So you can get four full fingers on this little guy. Jumping right here, perfect where it lands. I wouldn't consider this right here to be a sharpening choil, I mean a finger choil, really. Uh, to me, it's more like a sharpening choil, because you can see your finger, you could if you wanted to get you know, really tight with, you know, working something, you can kind of stick your, your tip of your finger there maybe a little bit, but uh, you're not sticking that hole in there. You see what happens? You can forget that. So don't look at that as like a finger chore. That's more like a sharpening chore, to be honest with you. So um, not to say that they're advertising it as a finger chore. I'm just saying, you know, you ain't gonna do that. But uh, this is the full FDE, Flat Dark Earth, uh, full titanium model. And it's the smooth side instead of the texture side. And the action on it is awesome. So let me do let me do push button. Okay. Well, light switching. 
Detents real nice. Yes, you can if you just kind of lightly. Let's see. Oh, it still came out even I'm trying to do it lightly. Let's see. Ah, see, I, I can even hardly not get it to come out now. Even at that, it still won't come out. So detent is great on this guy. Um, like I said, if you like small, chunky knives, that's an awesome knife. Hey, the price is not... Uh, it's not even in everybody's reach, put it that way. It's, uh, I believe this model is about 585, I believe, the full titanium. Um, you got a G10 model that probably takes off 100, $150, I believe it is. It's more like 425, 435, something like that, if I remember correctly. Um, so that might put it down in some other, some other people's range. You know, when you're talking over $500, there's a lot, lot of great knives in that ballpark. But this is a great knife. This is one of those knives if you like a hinder knife um, and you like small knives, you like them beefy, you like Spider Co. Was it the Techno, the little, that little heavy duty little sucker, um, little tank built. That's why they call it the half track, like a little tank. So if you like that sort of knives, this is, this is the knife for you. I mean, it's awesome. Let's do some other comparisons here on it. Here's the Kershaw Leak. See, about the size of it. Here's a, let's put him in the middle. That's a Spider Code Delica. So you can see it's even, even smaller than the Delica. It's about the blade length. There you go. The blade length is about the same, but the handle's got it beat on the Delica a little bit. That's where you're getting your, your different length is. Uh, let's compare it to the PM2. So, you know, PM2's uh, got a good bit more, PM2's more my style, more my size. So, you know, you can see there. And of course, let's go ahead and open up the XM18 3.5 inch. And you see the size difference. So, a big difference. It's a small knife. It's not made to be a big knife. That's why they made it. So, I uh, I like it. It's pretty awesome. I, like I said, I would have never, probably never have tried one of these to see if I liked it or not. Um, just because of the size and the price. I, you know, I, I'd hate to spend five, six hundred dollars or four hundred dollars or three hundred dollars for that matter on a knife and not know if you're gonna like it or not. That's what bothers me, you know, um, but this little guy's nice. It's got the uh, S35VN steel. It's uh, like I said, 2.3, two and three quarter blade, overall length 2.6. Um, fit point blade, it's got, uh, let's see how, how much does it weigh? 4.57 ounces. So it's a hefty little knife, no doubt about it. So uh, let's do another size comparison on it. Let's throw this guy out here. Glock 26, flat dark earth, flat dark earth. <laughs> All right, hey, you know I'm knife crazy. I'm not gun crazy. I'm kind of gun crazy too, but that's not what this channel's about. So let's put him away. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, it's... Uh, it's a pretty damn cool knife, to be honest with you. Um, I, if you like little knives and little hefty little knives, you, you need to get one. Um, got uh, look at that up close a little bit. It's got their uh, Sasquatch. It's like they over here in the uh, the patch over here. They call it Sasquatch approved. They put that on there. Centering on it, dead on. Little standoffs. One thing about this uh, this flipper tab, you guys out there are familiar with flipper tabs on Henders. See the difference? I wish this flipper tab on the half track was on the XM18. I like this flipper tab. 
I like that little angled piece right there. You guys out there know, you flip a hinder enough, your little uh, finger right there is gonna be hurting because that is sharp. It's got that little swoop that comes up, it's a little sharp point. And then, uh, you know, it'll dig in after a while. But this, they took that little sharp point out of it. Yes, this one is made for, I don't care what you do, it's coming out. I mean, it's grabbing, it's like a hook. I mean, hook's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna come out. This one, yes, sometimes you can, you know, if you ain't really pushing down enough, your finger can pop off the back when you're not expecting it. Um, the one thing they didn't do here, a lot of people complain about with the, uh, the XM18s, right where the flipper tab is, see all this jimping? When you go to open it, all that jimping just, just tears your finger up, you know? This, they didn't do that. They put no jimping right here. They got almost like a little ramp so that when you come down, your finger kind of lands right in it and then you can swoop back up. It's just a nice little little spoon area there. That just And it's smooth. The jumping up here is nice, not too aggressive, but you dig into it, see that? It will leave a mark. So jumping where it needs to be, jumping back here. So all in all, I like this little guy. It's a nice knife. If y'all are interested in uh, picking up any kind of any kind of hinders at all, whether it's the half track, XM18s, um, please, if you don't already know about USMA Blade, go check them out. Um, Witty over there, uh, the owner, a great guy, awesome to deal with. You can uh, email them, call them uh, up in uh, Salisbury, North Carolina. So um, if you're near there, stop by. They got a storefront. You can go in and handle all these knives. That's what would be awesome, to have a store local to me which I don't, they're about four hours or so away from me. Uh, if you could walk into a store and handle all these kind of knives before you purchase one, that would be nice. Um, and like I said, they sell only USA made blades. So uh, if, if you're after anything from China, Taiwan, or anywhere like that, Italy, whatever, they, they're not gonna have it. So um, and truthfully, that's what I like about it. It's awesome. All right, y'all have a great day. This is Knife Crazy. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.